Hey everyone, welcome, or for the elite few, welcome back to my okay. channel. I am the free-to-play crusader, but I don't just call myself that because I am a free-to-play crusader, but actually because I am on a crusade to make this game more accessible and fun for free-to-play and casual players. Explaining ways to get the most out of the game and min-max your efforts so that you can be competitive with people who have put money into the game. So if that interests you, please consider subscribing. Now, there is a big new update with tons of new content. It's way more than I'm going to cover in this video, so if you want all the details, I'll link the update notes below. But what I'm going to tell you is the important things that I think you need to be aware of. So let's get to it. First, there is a lot of new files you need to download, so get in there and start that if you haven't yet. And if you have a decent connection, or if you're just going to sit there and not play while you let it download, then check the box for unthrottled download so it will go faster. Next, there are new rewards for exploration. They are rare crests, so get in there and collect those if you have some waiting for you like I did. And maybe consider putting more time into exploration because rare crests are decently valuable now, as I'll talk about later in the video. Next, there is a new tier of the Prodigy's Path, and there is the free rewards you don't have to pay to get. And as you can see here, I have a whole bunch of new rewards available to collect and there's also a bunch more coming down the road. Next, there are a ton of new events. As usual, it's some pretty easy stuff to accomplish, and there's a lot of nice rewards here. Easy reward! Next, there is a whole new piece of content in the game called the Accursed Towers. It's a new activity that you'll do with your clan where you try to take over different towers and each tower gives a certain benefit to your clan. Check the update notes for the details on it, but your clan should be making you aware of what's going on and if you're not in an active clan, get in one right away. Now there is a PvE side to this new content, which involves fighting mobs in the towers to clear them out or defending against mobs, and that's something that everyone can participate in. And then there is also a PvP side to it, and unfortunately it's going to be like the Rite of Exile where only the top players in the clan are going to participate, because it's 10v10 PvP, and so only your top 10 players are going to be doing that. Now also with this update there is Cursed Gear, which it's kind of like a new type of invocation and when you get a cursed piece of gear it's going to have a positive and negative effect and you can only get the positive effects if you have two of the same ones with that same positive effect and then when you get four and six of that same one it gets more powerful unfortunately you have to deal with the negative effects as well so be looking for whichever ones affect you the least for example there's one that increases your cooldown on dash abilities so you definitely wouldn't want to use that in my pvp dash build that I have a recent video for and we'll have a more detailed video for soon. And you're going to be able to reforge these curses using a new type of reforged stone that comes from the accursed tower. And something to note is that cursed gear can drop anywhere, not just in the accursed tower content. Now there are also three new legendary gems. The one star, Lowe's Focused Gaze, increases damage done by charge skills and charging speed is increased. Nothing special there. Next is the two star Pain Clasp. This one increases damage dealt to enemies suffering from a continuous damage effect. So damage over time debuffs, that definitely counts, but it's yet to be seen if that applies to ground damage or the type of AoE that Crusaders do where it's not an actual debuff on the enemy. And then enemies suffering from continuous damage within 10 yards if you increase your movement speed. So that one's going to have limited use, especially for Crusaders if it doesn't include ground damage and persistent damage. 
And lastly, the five star gem is Gloom Cask. This one makes your primary attack unleash an aspect of gloom for six seconds, during which your primary attacks will trigger blades that deal damage, and it can only happen every 20 seconds. And the extra effect there is that enemies hit by those blades will take increased damage from your primary attacks. So this one's overall pretty nice, but it's really good and maybe OP for necromancers because it does apply to summons. And if you haven't seen my video on what to do when new gems are added to the game, go check that out after this to learn how to fully take advantage in the next few weeks. Lastly, a quality of life update to Elder Rifts. Now you can run 10 crests at once and they don't all have to be legendary. Some or all of them can be rare crests as well. Now, there's some other important information to be aware of that came in a previous update, but I didn't have a chance to make a video about this stuff. So just in case you aren't aware of it, there's some pretty important things, especially for free-to-play players, that came in the previous big update. Now, the first thing is rare crests. They are actually worth it as free-to-play. If you saw my crest guide video, I said I wasn't buying rare crests because they didn't seem worth it, but it turns out over time it was supposed to average out to 5.33 rare crests equaling one one star gem or one gem power. Now with the RNG I still feel like it kind of wasn't worth it, but now it's definitely worth it because the way the system works, every five rare crests guarantees a one star gem or that one gem power. So definitely use your hilts on rare crests anytime you can. You may notice that I have way less hilts than I did in my crest guide, I think I had something like 75k, and since then I've been buying rare crests every time I can, so that number has been going way down. So I understand that as free to play you won't always be able to buy them but when you can they are worth buying as they will help you in your progression of your legendary gems and resonance which is huge for pvp which leads into my second important point from the previous big update which is that normal gems are way more valuable than they used to be Besides the stat that it gives you, it also now increases the base attribute of that piece of gear by a certain percentage depending on the rank of the gem. So it's kind of like a poor man's resonance, if you want to think about it like that. It's something that's going to help you increase your damage in life like resonance would, but it's a little more accessible. It is also way easier now to get normal gems, especially on your first two hidden layer runs of the day you have an increased drop rate, so definitely do those and since normal gems are more valuable now you should be able to sell them for a lot more than you used to be able to in the market now the next important thing from the previous update is that there are tons of ways now to get legendary gear so your first bestiary turn in of the day is guaranteed to drop a legendary and there's even a chance you could get two Next, the first orange elite every day that you kill is guaranteed to drop a legendary. Also, the Path of Blood now drops gear, so there's a chance to get legendaries there. And a side note here is that Path of Blood is now worth doing because it's basically just real easy, fast farming. Now, you can also get legendary gear from bounty rewards. You can also get it from the gear rewards that you get from sharing blessings. And you can even get it from your daily gear rewards that you get from doing battlegrounds. Now the last thing I want to mention that I feel like was missed by a lot of people is that you can actually buy reforged stones now with platinum. It used to be just with orbs, but now you can use platinum so it's more accessible for free to play players. So there is all of the important info to be aware of with the new update, as well as some um, important info from a previous update that I didn't get to put in a video. If you have questions, video requests, love, hate, whatever, leave a comment. If you enjoyed that, learned something, appreciate the work I put in, or want to support me, use your primary attack on that like button. And if you want to see more Diablo Immortal content explaining how to get the most out of the game and sometimes short funny videos or crusader builds, subscribe. And if you're going to subscribe you might as well hit that bell because I don't put videos out very often, at least not at this point, so I'm not going to be blowing up your feed, alright? Just hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.